How's it going guys? Ball to Max here. In today's video we're going to go over if there are any hollow gold chains or bracelets that are worth buying. Now I've gotten a few over the past year or so since I've started this channel. So we'll go over which ones I believe are worth buying and which ones aren't. That way I can kind of help you steer you in the right direction because you know you can save a lot of money by buying you know things that are hollow or semi hollow um but you got to be careful what you buy that's for damn sure so make sure new viewers you like and subscribe and yeah let's see uh what's worth it all right hollow gold chains or bracelets worth buying. All right, well, let's go over the ones I got. Um, I'm gonna start off with what I think is definitely worth buying, guys. And that is my Monaco chain, diamond cut. This thing has been so surprising on how well it's hold up. It is almost a year old now I did purposely buy it in 10 carat I do recommend if you do get hollow pieces to buy it in 10 carat or 14 just because you know those are a lot stronger and hold up more than the higher carats now this chain is held up so well you can see those you know holes but this is definitely a hollow chain and uh, like I said, it's held up well. I haven't had any issues with it at all. If it was a bracelet, it could be a different story. Um, see, bra hollow bracelets, I do not recommend buying. You're going to hit stuff with them because you use your hands a lot more than versus, you know, necklaces around your neck. I think, you know, this thing is held up great, guys. It's 40 grams right and it's 13 millimeters a 13 millimeter solid miami cuban would be ooh, maybe 150 grams 200 grams maybe even more depending on the carrot so it definitely uh you get that large miami cuban look without pain you know done now if you wanted a solid miami cuban that's 40 grams that's what you get a <laughs> five millimeter look you know these weigh exactly the same which is kind of funny so but like I said this thing's held up great now let's go with maybe something I don't think's worth buying and that would be a hollow gold rope chain haven't had any issues with this but I have seen people have issues with them online if you are going to get a hollow rope chain I recommend getting it above three millimeters at least this thing is so delicate this is three and a point two millimeters weighs I think like four grams 4.5 grams so you have to be very careful with this very careful now I did buy a nine millimeter hollow gold rope bracelet I've done a review on it and I dented it within the first week of owning it. So it was not worth buying at all. I've actually got rid of it uh, because I just don't, didn't like the way it looked because it wasn't diamond cut and it was gonna probably dent a lot more down the road. So, but if you are going to get a hollow rope bracelet or not bracelet, um, chain, get it above three millimeters at least, okay? Now there are some chains that they just don't make solid, that they are hollow, and that would be ice links. These are some of my favorite chains. I love them. Probably they're probably my favorite, honestly. And uh, I haven't had any issues with them as a chain, um, but you know I, I am extra careful with them, knowing that they're hollow. Um, but they are worth buying for sure, guys. If you want a hollow chain this is the way to go that's for sure so 
They come in 10 and 14 karat, depending on the company you buy them from. Now this is another, this is semi-hollow. And, um, you know, at first I wasn't sure, but after, you know, uh, holding it with one of my solid Francos, I realized, yeah, this definitely has to be hollow. So I believe it's semi-hollow. This is a chain I, that I would say is worth buying. It's held up great. I haven't had any issues. I was going to get it as a bracelet too, but I don't know. I'm a little worried knowing that it's semi-hollow. And I've had issues with hollow bracelets. But I, this is one I recommend for sure. This is a 5.5 millimeter, uh, 14 karat wheat chain. And this is a 4 millimeter. Got this from Uverly. Good shout out to them. Good company. Okay, so uh, these two I highly recommend if you are going to buy a hollow chain. Also the Monaco chain, which this came from Buy Em Jewelry. So now as far as hollow bracelets, like I said, I had that nine millimeter rope uh, bracelet. Got rid of that because it dented so quickly. This is a five millimeter moon cut bracelet from Jacoji. These do not come solid, unfortunately, but they are one of the shiniest change, chains slash bracelets you can buy. You know, you see those little cuts on it. That reflects in a lot of light. Looks really good in the sun or in a low lit room. So, but I don't wear it too much because it is hollow and I'm worried that something's gonna happen to it. And you don't really want to worry when you're wearing jewelry if it's going to break or not. I mean, that's, you know, unneeded stress in your life. <laughs> so, but uh, if you are going to get I get it as a chain, honestly, not a bracelet. And Jacoji sells them as chains, too. So, he recommends not wearing a heavy pendant with them, though. So, but, uh... If you do get it as a bracelet, just be very careful with it. So, I have, like I said, I haven't had any issues with it yet, but, you know, down the road something may happen. And lastly, my last hollow piece is the Ice Link bracelet. Now, I did have an issue with this. Let's see if we can get the camera to zoom in. Come on. So, you see those barrels that are around it with the, the white gold diamond cut in it? One of those cracked open. I don't even know how it happened, honestly. But when it did, I, it, like, it broke my heart. Because I love these so much. They just shine like no other. Come on, camera. So, uh, I wouldn't recommend getting this as a bracelet. I would get it as a, as a chain. Because they are fire. This is the number one rated hollow chain out there I would say and it's getting a lot more popular so you can get they're very affordable they're under two grand you know um, so I mean for gold chain that's very affordable but anyways those are the pieces that I think that are worth um, buying and then you know I showed you some that aren't and went over some that aren't there's other hollow um, chains out there you can get a regular hollow Miami Cuban chain. I don't recommend getting those. I've seen videos of those denting very easily and those being pretty delicate. Um, I, if you were to do it, I would do semi hollow. There's, you know, semi hollows obviously has a little bit thicker of a, of a layer before it becomes hollow than hollow does or hollow gold does. So that's what I recommend. And there's also this chain I've been looking at, the Barrow Crystal chain, that Gold Zen sells. I'm thinking about maybe getting it and checking it out and seeing, you know, um, how that holds up as well. It's kind of similar to these ice links. It's kind of a mix between an ice link and a moon cut. So... But anyways, those are it. This is, I'll go over it one more time though. This, these Monaco pieces hold up really well. 
these uh, the locks they have are very strong shout out to Cuba no he's done some stress tests on these and it is amazing at how well these held up really well so definitely uh, worth looking at guys so if you don't want to spend 10 grand on a chain well thanks for watching hopefully I was able to help you guys out maybe hopefully I answered some questions if you have any you know let me know in the comments but I appreciate you guys watching as always Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Ultimax out.